Archer for game. We're going to do a sealed today, and then we're going to follow it up with some Valorant. Um, we're going to do a sealed because I need to learn the cards a little bit more still before I start drafting. Uh, I got a pretty good idea for the archetypes and stuff by now. The set's been out for, what, four days, five days. So I've got a pretty good idea of what needs to be done. Um, but we're going to do a sealed nonetheless. Uh, see how far we can go, and then we'll start drafting tomorrow. Nonetheless, let's jump in. Let's crack these packs. Let's crack them open. Sounds a little low. There we go. All right, Heroic Intervention. All my stuff gains Hexproof and Destructible until end of the turn. Not horrible. Baron is pretty good. Uh, bouncing stuff and drawing cards. Maze Mind Tome, also pretty good. Massacre Worm, of course, great. Uh, sometimes going to win you the game. Necromintia. Choose a card name other than a basic land card name. Search target opponent's graveyard hand and library for any number of cards with that name and exile them. The player shuffles the library and then creates a 2-2 black zombie creature token for each card exiled this way. Target opponent. So that's probably not something I want to use. Bane Slayer Angel is really good. So we got four really good rares and one okay one and one dud. Um, I'm going to be looking to play black and white for Bane Slayer Angel and Massacre Worm the most. Uh, Tome goes into anything. And Baron's pretty good, too. If we end up in blue, that's fine. But we'd much rather play black or white. Or black and white. Take a look at our white cards here. They don't seem super deep. Just at glance. 1 mana 1-1 one, one life linker. But it goes up to a 4-4 four, four in the late game. That's not... <clears throat> so as... Um, Almighty Brushwag taught us, this isn't that bad in the late game. Defiant Strike's okay. Solidarity, put a plus plus counter on each creature you control. Not terrible. Actually pretty good, even. Pegasus is good-ish. Card a card, it gains indestructible until end of turn. That's pretty good. Tap target creature, activates ability on if you control a creature with flying. Change creature's plus two, plus two, has first strike, and is a knight. Um, I do like that it gives it first strike. Battalions, okay. Battlements, three mana, zero, three. Attacking creatures you control get plus one, plus zero. Main Slayer Angel, of course, excellent. Rambunctious Mutt is fine. And Valorous Steed is actually pretty good. Uh, the art on that knight looks funny, doesn't it? All right, so all in all, I think my white is just okay. It's not super deep, um, but if we can pair it with black and get like a good black-white aggressive deck, we'll see what happens. We've got a decent life linker here for the late game, Bane Slayer Angel, uh, a tapper, assuming we can get Pegasus or Bane Slayer Angel out, um, but it's not like super great. Two dub, eh. No removal in white, and that's a main issue here. A couple of com good combat tricks, though, but... I'm not like I'm not thrilled with my white. In blue, we get an opt, a keen glide master, which is good. Lofty denial, which is actually not that bad, <laughs> especially if you control something with flying. It's it's not that bad, but if you don't control something with flying, it's pretty much useless. Brutal form is okay. Two copies of Substantiate. I like Unsubstantiate pretty well. Arcanist is pretty good. Baron is good. Cancels fine. Last Frost Breath is okay. Two copies of Larcenist. That's really good. Two copies of Singer. That's really good. Protege is fine. Crab's meh. And Roaming Ghost Light's really good. 
Uh, our blue looks pretty solid. Um, we've got two unsubstantiate, a cancel, a frost breath, and a roaming ghost light. <sighs> so we have the makes for a potential tempo deck there. <laughs> I'm excited to check our black for Masker Worm. Um, enters the battlefield if you enter from your graveyard or you cast it from your graveyard. Exile it. If you do, create a 5-5. Five, five. One mana, one, one lifelink in the early game. If we can bring it back, it's a 5-5. Five, five. Sack a dude, draw two cards. Got a yield zombie. Three two that makes a 1-1. One, one. Dead card. Ghoul, if you gain three or more life this turn, return it to your grave to the battlefield tapped. Okay. Three this cast if you gain three more life this turn. Okay. Archer's good. This guy turns on these two guys. There's two of them. We got a final blow. We got a Gormand. Sack a dude. Enters the battlefield. Each opponent sacks a creature. Massacre Worm, of course, is great. And Gloom Sower is a little bit too pricey. Uh, but it is good late game. I don't I don't hate the black stuff. Um if I wish we had some more reanimate stuff in it. Like one one copy of Rise Again would make me feel a lot better about this with the two gloom sowers, the Masker Worm, the Gorman, and the Archfiend's vessel, but what can you do? Immolator's quite good, Hobble Fiend is quite good, Igneous Kerr is okay, a little expensive to get things done with it. Throw possibility is pretty good. Trainer's Greed is alright. Because it really only costs two. <laughs> Turret over is fine. Havoc Jester is pretty good. Whenever you sack a dude, deal damage to a target. It's pretty good with our uh, black stuff that uh, allows for sacrificing, like Village Rites. Goes good with the Hobble Fiend. Um, goes good with uh, the Silver Smoke Ghoul. But it's just, all in all, not super deep. Four kills fine, Ranger's Guile, Heroic Intervention, which is this decent. Two copies of Status and Training. We got four copies of Garrick's Gorehorn, five mana, seven threes. <laughs> Titanic Growth is good. Track Down is pretty solid, actually. Creature or Land. Land of War Visionary is really good. Um, two copies of that, too. Two copies of the Sanctum, not that that really matters. We have a Sanctum. A Hunter's Edge, that's really good. Belephasaur, four of those guys. We got a blue-white land, a blue-black land, a black-green land, red-white land. Got the black-white uncommon. You gain three or more life this turn. Each opponent loses three life. We can actually make that happen pretty frequently. <laughs> we got a Kawadal, a short sword, the Tome, of course. Palladium Mirror is pretty good. Me too. Put target card from your graveyard on the bottom of your library. Doesn't seem super good. Two copies of Forgotten Sentinel. Okay. Overall, I'm not incredibly excited about this deck. Uh, it looks like we might go for the black-white life gainy deck. Um, or it might be like the blue-black deck splash-white. I mean, we have two lands for Esper here. So I'm thinking we play blue-black splash-white for... I guess just Baneslayer Angel. Baneslayer Angel is super powerful. Oh, and Indulging pa uh, Patrician. Okay, Palladium Mirror, of course, is quite good. Tome is good. Short Sword might make the cut. Life Linkers are in. Archers are in. Blue black is our main colors here. Cancel, opt, glider, arcanist, unsubstantiate. 
We really want to just play the Bane Slayer, Angel, and the Patrician. I think I'm a fan of Cancel because we have two Unsubstantiate and a Baron. Lots and lots and lots of expensive cards. So I really think I like Palladium Mirror. <laughs> 21 creatures. We've got an abundance of creatures. You're a dork, Robbie. All right, Vessel doesn't actually do anything. We only have two two drops. We're not cutting any of those. We have Baron, two Larcenist, two Singers, a Protege, Ballad, Silver Smoke Ghoul, Indulging Patrician, Palladium Mirror. We have 10 three drops. We don't need that many. How often are we gaining three or more life in a turn? Really, just with. Baneslayer, Angel, and Blood Glutton? It's not happening super often. Maybe we don't even bother splashing white. We just play blue black control. I don't hate that. This ghoul is less good then. And then I think we need to cut like something big. We have a lot of big stuff. I'm thinking maybe one blood glutton. Like four, three lifelinkers aren't super great. We don't need to play the cove. 17 lands. We have a Palladium Mirror, so I think I'm willing to go down to 16. We need blue for all the early game that we have. But we have a triple black and a double black card and a double blue card. All right, I think I'm willing to cut an island. And I think we just need two drops. Like, we just need early game plays. So I think I play Walking Corpse, sadly. We could play Epitaph Golem. Or not Epitaph Golem, but Forgotten Sentinel if we wanted to. It enters the battlefield tapped, but... <laughs> we're sad that the only rare we're playing is Massacre Worm. Oh, and Tome, I guess. Oh, and Barum. Okay, I mean, we can't, we really want to play Bane Slayer Angel, but our finishers are pretty good with Gormand and Massacre Worm. <laughs> Mana Sinks and Card Draw, we've got Opt. Tome. Larcenist. Protégé, Indulgence, yeah, six ways to generate card advantage, Ghost Light also is good with Cancel, Cancel is going to be good in this deck, I don't know, feels like our pool is kind of weak, like, we didn't get a whole lot of removal, Like, we could play blue-green also with Lore Scale Coatl, all of our card draw, four copies of the 7-3. If we had, like, ways to make this guy fly, it'd be insane. We can give him Trample with Citizen Training. We have an 8-3 Trampler and a Titanic Growth, a Hunter's Edge. And black, we get two Archer, a Finishing Blow, Gormand, and Massacre Worm. Yeah, I mean, our... Like, Masker Worm just blows it out of the water. But we could splash green for, like, lower-scale Kuwadl. Or, um, Hunter's Edge. 
I don't hate splashing green for edge. Give us another removal spell. Cut a Larcenist for the Hunter's Edge here. And put in the Jungle Hollow. Add a Forest. Doesn't look too bad. Seven blue sources. Nine black sources. Eight blue sources now. Eight black sources. Eight and eight seems fine. I mean, we have the corpse now in the early game. We need double blues for two things. We need double black for one. Double blue for three. Double black and triple black for one each, respectively. And then the two forests to splash for the Hunter's Edge. Is it going to be necessary to splash for this Hunter's Edge? I mean, I don't think we need another Library Larcenist. But I also really don't like messing up the mana that badly. Ugh. Like, if it were... I wish we'd opened, like, a more powerful singleton. Like, do we splash for lore scale quaddle or indulging patrician, then? If we splash for one of those, it'd be lore scale quaddle. Because this thing can get insane. We can just play Larcenist or, or a Crab. I mean, if 4-mana 2-5 blocks the ground really well, we're a control deck. Yeah, I like, I like a 4-mana 2-5. Alright, let's go. See how the blue-black control deck works. Alright, let's take a look at this hand. Couple of three drops, ghost light. This looks pretty good. We need another island to really turn it on, but that's okay. Uncontested, the larcenist should look pretty good. Okay. Seems nice. Uh, if we play Singer this turn, we can go Opt, Larcenist. Oh, well, no, we can't. We don't have the uh, mana. It, either way, it does look like we're playing Opt next turn, so we kind of want to play Singer, but at the same time, if Larcenist can get through, that's insane. We'll play the Larcenist and we'll hope that it can get through. You can play like a 3 mana 1 4 or something. Nice. So he's going to be making us mill. That's not a huge issue. We do get an attack with Larcenist, which is going to be huge. Hopefully, we can draw an island here. Okay, Palladium Mirror is an interesting draw. Let's go ahead and attack with the Larcenist. Palladium Mirror doesn't really matter here. I think I'd rather just play the Singer. Next turn, we can drop the Mirror and play Opt. There goes a couple of our islands. Four islands left in the deck and a blue black land. Oh. 
Hey, at least that means our Larcenus gets to keep attacking. He didn't block. Let's play our land. We can play the Protege, the Crab, or the Palladium Mirror. <coughs> uh, let's play the Crab. It uses more mana. Puts a 2-5 into play. He's not gotten anything important. Lots of land. Cancel and unsubstantiate. We didn't need those cards anyway. Although the uh, the the islands would have been nice. <laughs> At least one of them. 1-1 one, one doesn't stop us from going on the offensive still. Ah, oh, Massacre Worm. That's okay. One, one life linker. That's actually really good for us to get. Uh, we can get back the Massacre Worm and Massacre his whole team. But uh, pretty easy attack here. He can double block the Larcenus, but I'll happily take out one of those guys with it. And we get the card. Island is a good draw. Jumping the 2-2 is fine with me. Play our island. We can uh, ghost light now if we want to. He's going to res his sky scanner next turn, probably. So I think we just bounce it. Get a 3-2 flyer in the air. You can make a 4-4 life linker as well. We can play Baron next turn and bounce the life linker. We really don't want him gaining a little life though. Skyscanner just mills two more of our cards, which is not a huge issue for us. Obsessive Stitcher does tie up more of his mana. All right, let's tie up more of his mana. Missing finishing blow does kind of suck. Not much time left here. So we're going to just start playing out all of our creatures and turning them sideways, bouncing his stuff. Trying to stay on the offensive here so we don't lose. Pretty good for us. We can bounce that with Baron. It's a shame we can't cast both. But we can cast Baron. Go to combat here with everybody. Giving it the old chump skis. Play the land. Two creatures from our graveyard to our hand. All we can get is, well, we can get Massacre Worm and Skeleton. I think we'll do that. Uh, we did miss one point of damage there with the Singer. Nine cards left in the library. Massacre Worm in hand. Archer in hand. Oh, 
the one four and the zero three both uh do block well uh masker worm it's a damper on their day for sure So an all-out attack here, he blocks the two largest things, and he takes two, four, five. Is there any way I can get that to eight? I can sacrifice a creature to make him sack a guy. I can sack the Larcenist. He sacks the zero, three. I swing in with everything. He blocks the three, two. He takes two, four, six, which is actually five. But then I do have a 5-5 five, five Flying Trample. I give all of his stuff minus 2, minus 2, and he doesn't gain the life. Yeah, let's go ahead and play the Masker Worm. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He can block this with the Patrician, I guess. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Block. Ten, eleven. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, there's no way he's, he blocks and lives. So GG. Easy. Uh, I mean, it was close. He got me down to just like eight cards in my deck or something, but I got him down to zero life, so. <laughs> uh, it was a little lucky to go up against that guy first. I mean, he basically did nothing the whole game, uh, which we'll take. I mean, we're, we're happy uh, to beat down on people who don't play cards all game. Like, he was too slow. Got the Arcanist, Unsubstantiate, Skeletons. Cancel if we draw another island. It looks good. 1-3 should hold down the ground pretty well. It's going to make us discard a card. It's really not an issue. Right now, we'll discard the cancel. It's not really doing us any good anyway. Plus two, plus two, and attacks each turn if able. Not an issue. And we're going to let it hit us one more time to develop this uh, Stinger. And we can unsubstantiate it on our next turn and get in an attack for three with the Stinger. I'm a defensive deck, but I'll trade three for three. Imp. Imp is pretty good. Uh, we can't really let this thing keep going. Could have tapped the Arcanist there. If we had drawn a land, it would have been the right thing to do. I do open myself up to shock here. I probably shouldn't have done that. Okay, we're fine. Three haste. Target guys can't be blocked this turn. T2 discard your hands on the end of the turn. Whenever a creature you can build combat with power two or less, those combat damage to a player draw a card. Okay. Pretty good. Uh, we're going to attack with everything. If he blocks with the sewer, we can 
archer it. If he doesn't, we'll just play Singer. Easy enough. Skeleton Archer on the ground does a good job of stopping this one. Of course, we have to block that, even though we're walking into a sure strike here almost 100% of the time, or the plus one, plus one. Yep. Goblin Arsonist is pretty good. Looks like we're in trouble here. Play the other Singer. We can attack with this one, double block that guy. If he's got more removal, we're probably dead anyway. Um, Cause like after this, we have to spend a turn playing Indulgence. That's nah, just not, it's not what you want. He can make his guys unblockable, ditch his hand, draw two new cards. He's got a lot of stuff he could do. Okay, so he made his guy unblockable and he played a Tavern Swindler. This turn we did draw a Palladium Mirror, which is pretty good for us. Um, that lets us attack with a Singer. At least one of them, uh, for sure. I think both of them now. Because the imp can't have death touch this turn. So we're going with both of the singers. Two, three, four, five. Even if he makes everything unblockable, it's only six. And then we can play Palladium Mirror. We have two blockers on the ground. So we can take down the two, three. If he doesn't go in with the two, three... Then we can just uh, next turn play Indulgence with our Palladium Mirror pretty easily. Depending on uh, what happens. If we have seven mana right now, if we draw land, we can get eight. Oh, he's going to duress our Indulgence away, probably. He could get the cancel, like if he's got a five drop in his hand or something. Sucks for us. He knows what we've got going on. No more secrets. Tavern Swindler is unblockable. Down to seven we go. His Fetid Imp can now have Death Touch. I think that's something we're just willing to deal with. Again, he only has six damage. Uh, so we'll go in with the flyers here. If he wants to trade a Fetid Imp for a Mistral Singer, I'm okay with that. That's one less unblockable guy he has. And now we can play Protege. 
does a good job on the ground of blocking stuff. He's on five now, so he can play like turn to slag, pitch burn, devils. The Havoc guy, the five minute five five. Sack synergy guy. He's got to be worried about my full team crackback now. Whenever he's dealt damage, deals damage, damage to target opponent. Okay. That sucks. Now we drew the land for cancel. I think I'll attack with the singer. You can get two, four, five damage in for sure. I think we'll, we'll save up cancel on his end phase if he doesn't do something. Oh my goodness, what a madman. Okay. You got me. Good game. Oh my goodness. That was a close one. I don't know why he risked that coin flip there. He could have had one more turn. But we'll take it. 2-0. Not bad. Let's see what our opponents got for us. Uh, we got Glide Master into Protege. It's pretty good. I think we'll go ahead and play Opt here. Another Swamp. I mean, we do. We are looking to hit that land drop, uh, but we'll probably get more before then. Not looking to get it that badly. Rather play the corpse first. Glide Master has more value later. Get him with the corpse. Try to resolve the protege here. Frantic inventory. Or scale Kawato coming down. I have unsubstantiated in the event he can buff it somehow. So let's just go in. Get in some damage. Play the Glide Master. Play the Tome. We're not worried about taking it this turn. We can always unsubstantiate it next turn. We've got Gormand to deal with it later. It looks like next turn is Unsubstantiate and Tome. Primal Might. Nice. That's going to be a big hit.
Good job, good job. Go on and head in for four. Go ahead and pay two and draw a card. Pass our turn here. We have unsubstantiate for that. And then Gormand for it later. Make him recast it, play Gorman, make him sacrifice it. Okay, sure. Back to your hand with you. Let's go ahead and play our land. Go to combat and attack with both. On one green, I don't think he has a way to draw a card. Ranger's Guile is the only thing that stops us here. So be it. We have an unsubstantiate if something crazy happens. Now we get him for four. We play our Flying Trample guy. Makes him sack his dude. We'll sack our corpse. Bye bye, Kawaddle. In turn. We can raise Corpse and Glide Master now if we want. Like he can capture Spheros here. Okay. Read the tides is fine. Not that worried about that. I'm going to go ahead and scry one. Archer. We have six. We could play Archer and hold up Unsubstantiate. I mean, Archer is still fine. It's a, it's a card we want to draw. You play Indulgence and Corpse. Or we could just play Protege. I think Archer and Leave Up Unsubstantiate is fine. Dealing a damage to him isn't uh, negligible either. He's at, He's low, so... If he plays something scary, we can unsubstantiate it. If he doesn't, we can just draw a card with Tome. Robert Davis should play or destroy one target our character or champion player controls. Okay. Sure thing. A 4 4, very impressive. Uh, we'll just put his 5 drop back in his hand, I think. Do I want to scry here? Nah. Go on in with the archer. Wow, he's gonna take three. Pretty good for us overall. Let's go ahead and play indulgence here. Grab back these two guys. Get the glide master down. All right, that's game. Give the Skelebones flying the next turn and go in. GG. It's going well. So far, so good, guys. 3-0. Okay, 2-3-4. Looks like a great curve. We even got our tap land to start with, so this uh, should be good. Should be good. 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 Ah, a corpse.
Nice. Up against Subira again. Uh, no blocks. Crab should do a good enough job holding it down in a bit. I'll probably block the corpse next turn. Well, then I should have blocked last turn, shouldn't I? Mm. Let's get in our attack for two. Again, okay, Crab's going to do a fine enough job blocking. He'll remove these guys if he can. No blocks. Four, two. It's a good thing we have a two, five. Attack in the air. I'll happily block with our 2-1 now, but Crab holds down the fort. Like, killing Crab feels bad, because it's just a 2-5. Odd. We could double block Sabira. He knows that though. There's no way there wasn't something funny going on there. Masker Worm looks good. Play the Larcenist here. Uh, I mean, we gotta we gotta go for this. Fine. We knew something like that was gonna happen. More fuel for the worm. More fuel, more food for the worm, I should say. Go in with the goons, get our card. Good Masker Worm turn right there. Attack with everything. I don't care if Larcenus dies here. It looks like he has to jump to 6-5 anyway. Okay. I can try and kill my own Massacre Worm for the game here. Uh, but I don't think that's good. <laughs> we'll play the other flyer. No reason to play the 4-3. Just get more evasion on the board. That way I'm more likely to get something through. GG. Masker Worm. Doing the work for us. Easy game. 4 0, baby! Let's go! Turn 3 Larcenus, turn 4 Archer. We've got Op to find our fourth land. Sure. Okay. Beautiful. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to deal with that for a while. Not until we get Archer down.
Take it one more turn. One, two, three, four, five. I don't want to turn. I don't want to slow down this. I do want a card. That corpse should do me some good here. Save me five life. It is just a corpse. On spirit creature. All right, good. Two small cards. No way. Killing me. Wow. I don't understand why he wouldn't play that. Because he's got a canopy stalker? Interesting. Masker Worm is good now. It was going to be Gormand, but... Like, if he has removal for the worm, we're dead. But, so be it. It is what it is. Ugh. Mask of Worm goes down. Gormand is pretty good. Or we can double spell with Archer Protege. I think I'd rather just play Gormand. If he wants to trade with the turret ogre, that's fine. Okay, once again, if he has removal, we're dead. No removal, it's good for us. Here we can double spell with Archer and Protege. If he doesn't block either of these, we can kill him. Actually, unsubstantiating the Ogre. Hitting him for eight, Archering him for one should win us the game. Archer for game.
Sorry, by the way, my allergies are horrible. I've got an appointment with the allergist tomorrow, so for the last seven days, I haven't been able to take any meds. I've just been, uh, whew, been a little off. We got unsubstantiate and crab, so I'll keep this one. Oh, the vampire that deals damage whenever you gain life. Yeah, that fucking card sucks, dude. It sucks to play against. It's really strong. I've been uh, wombo comboed out a few times. But it is what it is. Just something else we have to pay attention to in magic. E for 40? Jesus. Yeah, I mean, I've been hit uh, for quite a bit as well with it, so. I mean, none of this stuff matters because I'm going to have Worm on 6. That does mean we need to find two more lands. So let's start looking. Finishing blow's pretty good though. I don't want to not have that card. It's a really good draw for us. Gives us something to fight with. Cause like all his stuff right now dies to Masker Worm. Wait for him to tap out, boom, kill him with Worm, right? Like. No blocks. He paid two mana to draw cards. Good for us. He can slow down. Dog's not an issue. Again, dies to Massacre Worm. Crab's going to hold down the fort pretty well. It doubles your life points and cuts your opponents in half. Counts as life gain. Oof. That's pretty rough. Uh... Do I intend to block with Singer next turn? I don't think so. Send it. Oh, man! <laughs> Unfortunately... I could, like, lose here as he just alpha strikes me to death. So let's slow him down a bit. We'll make him recast that. Let's see, he can attack me all out. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. He can deal ten if I don't block. I get him next turn? Yeah, I know. We're just going to slow him down a little bit. I don't want to take a ton of damage from an Alpha Strike here. Okay. That's fine. He's tapped out. That's really good for me. And <laughs> just with the Pilfer. And now he loses the game. <laughs> Good game. Nice. <laughs> Get him, Massacre Worm. Oh, my God. GG, that is painful. Yeah, that is not what you want to happen to you in uh, Limited. Good game. Woo! 
that's a uh, masker worm for you. <laughs> that hurt me. And I did I wasn't even on the receiving end of it. 6-0, let's go. Can we get the 7-0? Do I I like sealed? Sealed's okay. Draft is definitely better. But I like to spend about a week playing sealed into a new format just to kind of understand it. We'll probably start drafting tomorrow because I think I got a pretty good grasp on all of it now. Uh, but over this weekend, I've played a couple of sealed events and, and uh, off stream and whatnot. Uh, and I'm just, I'm just trying to learn the cards, you know. Red's pretty strong in this set. I agree. Get the tome out there. We'll start drawing cards if we don't hit our land. Um, if we do, then everything's looking good. We'll probably use the first one here to scry because we really want that land. Rage Mutt is pretty good. I don't like using page counters to scry, but we do what we got to do. Like, we can play Palladium Mirror, and that'll turn Finishing Blow on. But it doesn't let us double spell next turn, because we don't have another island. We, if we can play Palladium Mirror this turn... Although, Palladium Mirror does activate Tome every turn after this. Yeah, okay. Because it activates Tome, I like it more. Yeah, Red's got a lot of strong removal and a lot of strong synergy. If I had one more land in hand, I'd probably just trade off the Palladium Mirror now, but I don't, so I'm just going to take two. Like, Rage Mud is definitely a card that I kind of want to kill before I get low, but I'm not that worried about it. Hopefully we draw a, an island here. We can play Singer. We could play the Archer. It doesn't really do anything at the moment. I'm thinking just Singer. And activate the tome now in case we draw a land. Yeah, let's just activate the tome now. Look for that land drop. Awesome. Brash Taunter is your favorite card. Brash Taunter is awesome. I got it played against me a couple matches ago, and it almost won them the game, but my flyers were too strong. There's a card that we want to remove. Shock on the Palladium Mirror. Okay. I'm assuming he wants to attack. Singer is better than these creatures, but... Our hand sucks, man. That's better. I kind of want to... Use Tome and save for Cancel. Because we can always kill that weird later. And we're going to gain four off the Tome, so. And we have Unsubstantiate. If he, like, plays a four-mana spell and then tries to attack, we just bounce the Gorger back to his hand. Very big painful. Truffle Snout isn't really what I wanted to cancel, but it's what I will cancel. Cause we wanna we wanna be start being more proactive next turn. We get indulgence back two of our guys. Doesn't seem super good. We can play indulgence and then save for unsubstantiate on the weird. To set him back, or we could play Archer and save for Unsubstantiate on the weird. I think I like that a little bit more. What's up? 
enjoying the day. Nice. Uh, it's gonna be Valorant after this, by the way, Robbie. If you want to join me. I saw on the stream paddle, so I figured I'd hop over and play uh, Dead Side till you were ready. Ooh, yeah. This is. If I win this one, it's the last one. If I lose this one, there could be a couple more. Looks like I might lose this one. That's not over yet, but I'm definitely in the losing position at the moment. Though we're we're far from dead, but you flip the script and get in the winning position. I'm trying to. It'll be seven wins, zero losses if I win this one. So I would I would really like to. Nice. Oh, massacre worm again. Coming down, wiping the opponent's board, turning the entire game around. Yeah, mutating on top of a brash would be super annoying. Incredible, incredible top deck for me there. Wow. I'm gonna go ahead and attack first to see if he wants to block and stuff. If he wants to block and use a combat trick, that's okay. Because I'll just indulge this back to my hand. Otherwise, we've got Finishing Blow, which we're going to use on the Stalker. And we are also gonna draw a card with Tome and heal for four. So we're not, not like anywhere near dead. I think I will go ahead and just Finishing Blow this guy. I don't know what else he's going to have, but hard to imagine it's not worth doing right now. Like, if he plays something else big, we just trade it with Massacre Worm and move on. 4-4 four, four doesn't do anything for him. Let's just draw our card here, gain our 4 life. Happy to do that. Oh, we could have done that on this turn, actually, and played this for one, saving us a total of one mana. Yeah, that would have been good. We could have double spelled. Well, let's attack. See what he does. Let's just play Archer this turn. Ping him for one. And if he wipes my board or something, we can res the archer and ping him for one again for lethal. GG! 7-0! What a match. Seven zero, my friend. What can I say? So, so our pool was, so we, <laughs> our pool had a lot of good cards in it. Like we're not even playing Bane Slayer Angel. And we still 7-0'd, like. How do I switch oh, here? No, huh? It's a lot of fun now, because they added in like more guns and more optics. Like, like actual scopes and stuff for some of the guns. True. Yeah, Massacre Worm won us three games of the seven. Uh, that would have been a lot harder to win otherwise. Uh, so I got to give props to Massacre Worm here. S tier, broken rare. But, I mean, we all already knew that as soon as we saw it printed. Uh, it's a reprint from a long time ago. Really winning us games. But like I said, we didn't even play the Bane Slayer Angel we opened. Um, not that unless we were black-white, we couldn't play Massacre Worm and Angel. We would have loved to have been black-white, but the blue was just too strong. None of the rest of our colors were super deep or super impressive. We opened four copies of uh, Garrick's Gorehorn, though, so that would have been kind of fun to play four seven threes, uh, but it wouldn't have really been good. Uh, so, wow, yeah, GG. Incredible. Let's claim our prize. Bust open the packs we got. <laughs>
Idol of Endurance. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I don't remember what all the rares do at the moment, but we're... We've learned most of the commons now. Play two additional lands on your turns. <laughs> Temple of Mal Malady? Malady? Malady. Temple of Malady. And Spark Hunter Master Core is pretty cool. Uh, I'm tempted. I'm, I'm interested to see where this falls in, in draft. Because um, it's just a three mana, three, four that can gain indestructible. And you have to discard a card in order to cast it. So I don't think this card is actually that good. You're going to first pick it a lot of the time just because it's colorless. But I don't. I'm not as high on Spark Hunter Master Core as I think other people might be. But wow, what a what a what a run there! What a sealed event! That was really really fun. Uh, I lo I'm loving the core set so far. Uh, we are gonna play some Valorant now.